Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. And what do you know, I have a working microphone again. We can go back to having these morning devotional videos. I've missed doing them. Um, appreciate your patience. But now we're back. You know, right now, the Olympics are going on, the Winter Olympics taking place in Beijing. I don't know if you're watching the Olympics or not. We've been watching them most nights, not every night. Uh, but a couple nights ago, we were watching the Olympics, and they were doing the men's downhill slalom. And that event always impresses me. That's the event where they got to go real fast downhill, taking all those crazy turns, uh, going through all the gates. And there was something I didn't know about this event. You know, I just assumed, like with most Olympic events, that there was like a trial run. They had to practice on the course. Or maybe there's preliminary runs before the, the medal races take place. But no. The athletes show up in China, and they have one run on this course. No practice runs, no preliminaries, just one run. And that one run is for the medal. And so you have no clue what's coming next as you go down that run. You can look at it from a distance, but you can't actually practice going down the hills. So as you watch these athletes run the slalom, it's their first and last attempt at going down this course. Well, there was a guy, and it was his turn. I can't remember what nation he was from. But he was favored to win this event he was one of the favorites and he's going down the hills through the course he's a little behind on time at the moment but he's got time to catch up and then suddenly one of his skis slips he goes outside the gate misses the gate and hits the wall now he's eliminated He's done. He doesn't get another shot. And he's got to finish going down the hill through the course. And you can tell he is devastated. His head is, is hanging. And he gets to the bottom of the course. He gets to the end of it. Goes over to a side wall. Puts his head down on the wall. And starts sobbing. He's devastated. He crashed and burned on the course. And now his chance for a medal is over. That got me thinking about life. And how often we fail, how often we crash and burn. We're sinners. And every day we fail to live up to the standards that God would have us live up to as his own dear children. We fail to keep the commandments perfectly. We fail to love God with our all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We fail to love our neighbors ourselves. Too often we crash and we burn. And ultimately, as will happen to everyone who lives in this sinful world short of Christ returning, ultimately we'll die. The ultimate crash and burn. It's devastating. It's heartbreaking. But we have good news. From John chapter 6 verse 40. Jesus says, For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. As sinners we crash and we burn, but Jesus raises us up. Through his death on the cross, Jesus raises us up out of our sins. He forgives our sins and keeps us as his own forever. And through his resurrection, Jesus has and will raise us up on the last day, raising us up from death itself, winning for us the gift of eternal life. Each and every day because of our sin we crash and burn. 
but our race isn't over. We're not left helpless and devastated because Jesus raises us up. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the gift of your Son, our Savior Jesus, who through his death on the cross has raised us up out of our sin, who through his resurrection has raised us up out of the grave, out of death itself. Lord, as we run our race of faith, teach us, Lord, always to look to you, to look to Jesus. And when we stumble, when we fall, let us not despair. Let us not lose hope. Instead, Lord, teach us always to trust in Jesus to raise us up. In your name we pray. Amen. Pray God's blessings on your day, and God willing, the computer keeps working. We'll see you tomorrow. Amen. Oh,